Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Pastel and in my channel, I create videos about personal growth and lifestyle design. So if you are new here, welcome and I hope you consider subscribing if you love videos about personal growth and lifestyle design. In today's video, I want to share with you how I organize my entire week. So if you don't know yet, I actually have a 9 to 5 job and organizing my week is something that I do on a regular basis. Organizing our week is an important task that we sometimes neglect to do. Um, for me, it is really an essential part of my week because it helps me focus and make sure that I accomplish things and not miss any important meetings or deadlines and make sure that I am productive the entire week. Before I end my work week, I take at least 30 minutes to an hour to structure my schedule for the following work week. I check my pre-scheduled meetings so I can schedule my other tasks properly and avoid any overlapping. By doing this, I am able to focus and prevent any unnecessary stress since I already know what to expect on the following work week. Mondays are normally my catch-up day. Since I am coming from my rest days, normally there are a lot of emails that I have to attend to and I use that to catch up. I don't set up any meetings or coachings on Monday unless it is really urgent and important. I used this day to catch up on any admin tasks that I was not able to do the previous week or over the weekend. I use the method called time blocking. I divide my work day to certain tasks to help me become more productive and finish on time. I include my break schedules too so I won't forget to take them. I set realistic time blocks for each task. For example, if I need to do some work audits, I know that it will take me 1-2 to two hours to complete the task. So I will not schedule 30 minutes for that. By doing such, I get to complete the task without rushing. I give extra time for each task, especially for meetings and coachings because based on my experience, those get extended most of the time. 15 minutes before my shift starts, I revisit my schedule for the day to check if I need to adjust anything. You can also schedule 10 to 15 minutes before you end your day to check on your calendar for the following day. I also use a planner to write my to-do list. I feel happy whenever I see check marks on my to-do list. Comment below if you feel the same way. Remember that not all days go according to plan and that is okay. Remember, your weekly or daily plan should help you and not stress you. So you can always revisit or revise your plan if it's not working for you. So there you have it guys. I hope this video is helpful and if it is, please give this video a thumbs up and I'd love to hear from you. So if you love planning your week or your day, please comment down below. Um, I hope you stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye.